Russia ordered more ballistic missiles from Iran and North Korea, NATO claims. Russia has asked North Korea and Iran to supply more ballistic missiles to use against Ukraine, Reuters reported citing an unnamed NATO official. According to the report, Tehran intends to respond to Moscow's request. Although the transfer has not happened yet, it will likely take place once the details of the deal are ironed out. Iran has declared its intent to do this and that it will send ballistic missiles to Russia and we have no reason to believe it will not follow through, the source said. On February the 21st, Reuters reported, based on six sources, that Iran had sent a large shipment of ballistic missiles to Russia. According to three Iranian sources, Tehran provided Russia with Zulfagar missiles capable of hitting targets from 300 to 700 kilometers away. The provision includes many from the Fateh-110 family of short-range ballistic weapons such as the Zulfagar, three Iranian sources said. The shipments began in early January after a deal was finalized in meetings late last year between Iranian and Russian military and security officials that took place in Tehran and Moscow. Another senior Iranian official said some of the missiles were sent to Russia by ship via the Caspian Sea while others were transported by plane. North Korea has sent about 6,700 containers carrying millions of munitions to Russia since September in exchange for food as well as parts and raw materials for weapons manufacturing, according to officials. South Korean Defense Minister Shin Wansik told reporters that the containers might carry more than 3 million 152mm artillery shells or 500,000 122mm rounds. Russia has used at least 20 North Korean ballistic missiles in attacks on Ukraine since last December, the security service of Ukraine said. US CIA warns of risk of war between Iran and Israel. The destruction of the Iranian consulate in Syria, which resulted in the deaths of dozens of senior Iranian officials and generals, risks escalating into a major war in the region. American intelligence CIA warned that within 48 hours, Iran could launch a military operation against Israel, reports Vox News. Earlier, senior officials in Iran reacted to the attack by stating that their country already has every right to respond to Israel's attack on their consulate, a Middle Eastern media outlet reported. Lebanese pan-Arab satellite news channel al Mayadin has stated that Tehran plans a combined drone and missile attack dubbed a rainstorm, launched from its bases targeting strategic sites within Israel. Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Khamenei published threats in Hebrew. With God's help, we will make the Zionists repent for the crime of attacking the Iranian consulate in Damascus, he wrote. On April the 1st, Israel launched a missile strike on the Syrian capital, Damascus. As a result of the attack, the Iranian consulate building was destroyed. One of the casualties in the attack was a senior commander of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Mohammad Reza Zahedi. His name was included in the so-called blacklist of the United Nations, which consists of 15 high-ranking military and political figures of Iran suspected of involvement in Tehran's nuclear and missile programs and who are banned from leaving Iran. His death was arguably the most significant blow to Quds since its then-commander Qasem Soleimani was killed in a US-targeted assassination in January 2020 in Baghdad. After the incident, the Israel Defense Forces announced a call-up of reservists to strengthen its air defense system. This is not the first time that the Israel Defense Forces has struck Syria. In December, the Israeli army eliminated the senior advisor to the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, Syed Razi Musavi. Ukrainian troops have prevented another attack by the invading Russian army near Terny village in the direction of Lyman City in eastern Donetsk region. Artillery strikes were launched against the invaders who sought to advance with a convoy of tanks and other armored combat vehicles. As a result, the vehicles and manpower in the column were destroyed. A few surviving infantrymen tried to escape. It should be noted that Russian troops have stepped up attacks in Donetsk region in recent days. A convoy of 36 tanks and 12 infantry fighting vehicles of the Russian army advancing in the direction of Toninkoy village near Avdiivka city was destroyed by Ukrainian fighters. In addition, Russian troops launched an attack with armored vehicles near the village of Novo Mikhailovka. As a result, the vehicles in the convoy were destroyed, and the attack was prevented.